my fifth grade. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. I am Mrs. Dunia from Juniatic App. Hi kids, it's Mrs. Isaacson from Penn Lincoln. Mr. D, my time for basketball practice. I don't want to do work today. I want to play. Nope, not an excuse. Time for work today. It's uh, time. All right. Hey, Miss Isaacson, catch. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Null, take it away. Well, today we're going to keep reviewing with the digestive system. So let's take a look at this video for today. These are really good. My compliments to the chef. Dear Tim and Moby, how do we digest food from Sam? Oh, I thank you. Digestion is about breaking apart the food we eat so that our bodies can use the food's nutrients. Food is broken up in two ways, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion is the physical breaking apart of food. Chemical digestion is when chemicals called enzymes break food into molecules that your body can absorb. Both types of digestion occur in our mouths. Chewing mechanically breaks food apart, while an enzyme in your spit called salivary amylase breaks down carbohydrates. When food you eat becomes a soft, gooey mass, your tongue pushes it to the opening of your esophagus at the back of your mouth. The esophagus squeezes the food down into the stomach. Inside your stomach, food is churned and mixed with enzymes and other digestive juices, including hydrochloric acid. These chemicals break down proteins and fats. A lining of mucus protects your stomach from the acid. After about four hours in your stomach, food is the consistency of a thick milkshake, and we call it chyme. Chyme moves into the small intestine, which is actually not so small. It's about seven meters long. The small intestine is where most of the nutrients from food are absorbed. In the first part of the small intestine, called the duodenum, digestive juices from the liver and pancreas join the breakdown mix. They turn the chyme into a soup of molecules small enough to be absorbed into your bloodstream. Well, there are these tiny finger-like things called villi lining the inside of the small intestine. Cells on the surface of the villi absorb nutrients from chyme as it flows by. When chyme gets to the large intestine, it's thin and watery. The large intestine is actually way shorter than the small intestine, but because it's a lot wider, it's called large. Sometimes it's called the colon. The large intestine sucks most of the water out of digested chyme in a process called absorption. This step is important because recovering that water keeps you from getting dehydrated. Once most of the water is gone, solid waste is moved to the last part of the large intestine, the rectum. When enough waste piles up there, you're ready to go to the bathroom and the digestive process is complete. <laughs> The whole digestion process can take up to two or three days. Ugh. Ooh. I, uh, I think I ate too many pancakes. So for today's task, we would like you to create a cartoon using four, five, or six cartoon boxes. Describe the digestive system using cartoons. If you could, use two, four, or all six of the following words within your cartoon. Teeth, tongue, saliva, esophagus, stomach, and intestines. All right, you did a great job today. One more day left. 